Hi everyone, welcome to the QA of the channel. I'm Rafael Lima, and today you're going to be working, uh, keep working on our CLI, on a BBA CLI, and you're going to be creating a menu for the QA of itself. We're going to be able to download the repository, see what uh, the repository, open the repository uh, on the on the on the browser, and many other things that we'll be able to do with this new menu that we are going to create. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notification of my next videos. Uh, and I'm going to be posting the links for the previous one so you can keep it up. All right, so let's start here. And we have BB. And we we like this template here to help us uh, to decide uh, to create new new commands, new CLI commands. And this is what we're going to start first. I'm going to just copy and paste the template. It's a very simple template. Uh, and I'm going to name it QA Ops. Cool. Uh, if I come here, I already have BB and I have the menu, QA Ops. And now the first thing that I need to do is I need to list, be able to list all my repositories, right? Uh, I could use YouTube's API for that, but for that to work on the CLI, I would have to uh, use my API key, right? And this is a public repository, so I'm not going to pu publish my API key to a public repository. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to list it here. So we have this conf where I can, I'm just going to create a ops, QA ops folder. And on the QA ops, I'm going to create a file called repos for repositories. And here I'm listing all my repos. So I have, I need to duplicate the name repo and I need to pass its name. So it's going to be cucumber. It's going to be uh, shell. It's going to be Java going to be uh, dots. And now I can get this from here. So I have Java, Cucumber, uh, actually it should be BDD, but leave it Cucumber, docs and shell. So this is Java, BDD, docs, in shell. Cool. Copy all of them. So now I need to use, so this is BDD. This one is shell. This one is Java. And this one is docs. Cool. Now I need to load this file, right? I need to be able to load this file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a command called load conf, because I'm loading the conf file and I don't need this. And I'm going to call it repos because this is the name that I gave to my, to my, uh, to my file, right? It's going to, this is named QA Ops because this is the name of the of the menu. That's this is the same. And repos, that's how I'm going to load it. So it's going to look for QA Ops file. It's going to look for a QA Ops folder inside conf and it's going to look for whatever I pass here. All right, so now this is already loading the repository. So now what I need to do, I need to create my actual menu, right? before I do anything. I already loaded the repo, so now I'm going to create the menu. So provide interactions with QA of project. I'm going to have a menu called show. And show. And I'm going to say list all repos. I'm going to give it an extra space and I'm going to say open alias for whatever name I have on my repo. And I'm going to say uh, 
open the recall story in the browser. And I'm going to also say alias. The same as open alias. Great. All right. So when I do bbqop, I already have a nice menu with everything that I need. Cool. So now what I want to do, I'm going to use the show, the show one, right? So I'm going to say show, and I'm going to show what? I'm going to uh, create a function called show all, and I'm going to you create this function up here. And the reason that I'm going to create up here is because I want to be able to execute the, this function from inside this. We're going to see it shortly. So I created a function, so I'm already going to say, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say list, uh, list of all repos. Great, cool. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a printf. I'm not going to do an echo because printf formats uh, and you're going to see what I mean. If you can do some formatting, so I'm going to say I want to print any string, and this is the formatting I'm going to show you shortly. And I'm going to also print another string, and I need to pass the variables for those two strings. One is alias, and the other one is uh, URL. So this is just the naming, the header, the header. So now I need to loop through everything here and display it. I'm going to use a for, and I'm going to say for name in this array. I already, when I did load confi, I already got an array of everything. So how the way that I access this array is repos, because that's the name, repos, we created the array and I use at. So I'm already accessing the array here. But if I do this, I'm going to have the actual values. I don't want the values because I want to list. I don't want to list the URL. I want to list each one of these naming, which are the keys. So if I want to list the keys, I need to put exclamation mark. So it's going to list the keys and not the values. Do. And done. So I close that. Um, cool. Now, what I need to do is I need to print F again because I did this formatting. I need to make sure it's the same formatting. I'm going to see why. And the, the alias is the name, right? So I'm going to pass on name. And the URL, the value, is the array repos with the name name. Cool. Now I'm able to print. Right? So if I do BB chaos show, it broke. So another thing that I need to do, I need to break the line. You can see that this is glued, right? So I need to break this line right here. I need to, after this, I need to break the line. And after this, I need to break the line. Great. So I'm going to give some extra space here because I have to clog, break a line here too. Awesome. And um, cool. You can see also uh, that this is not sorted. It's it's their own whatever uh, uh, order it came. You can see that it's even different from this one. So I want to sort this out. So I'm going to do a pipe and sort. And now you have a nice starting alphabetical. Cool. Another thing that I want to do is when I do BBQAOps, 
I, what do I want to list? You, you look at this and say, oh, I need to type show. Why, why, why do I need to do that, right? Can't I just have a list now? Yes, you can. So what? That's why. That's why we put this this function before the menu, because now I can come here and I can call this function show all. And now I have. Whenever I hit the command, you don't know that exactly what it what the command does. You already know that okay, this is the alias, and I have a list of alias here. Maybe I can even break a line here. So I can, I'm going to do a print f breaking the line. That's the only thing that I need. And all right, now it's much better. List all repository alias, and then I have the list of things. It's much better than this kind of clog. So now when you hit the command, say, hey, this is my alias, this is my URL, I need to do open alias, I can match it. Right? It's easy for a person to figure out what is the alias. All right? So uh that's it right so we still have some stuff to do we, we need to work on the open we need to work on the alias these two are the same commands how can i do that how can i use uh do the same thing in in this in, in different commands right so uh this is going to have open and the alias is going to open this is just going to have at the alias and it's going to open and then you have a choice, right? This is more meaningful. It's easier to remember that you are wanting to open the URL while these you let you you type less. Right? You have options now. Right, so that's basically what I wanted to show you. Thank you for uh, watching this far. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. Uh, if you like it, give the thumbs up. And it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. And I'm going to see you on my next video. Bye.